All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. See, this is gonna, just gonna have to be a longer video. I've tried this video like five times, and I'm like, you know what, it's too long. Let me try it. I'm like running through stuff. I think I have ADD. I get distracted a lot, and uh, so I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get through. I got some boxes just piling up here that I've been meaning to do that I've had for some of these maybe three weeks now. But let's get through it. First things first. Did well, actually, I'm gonna show you, right? We got this big box here. Order this bad boy a while ago, and it took a while to get here, and it took a while for me to make the video. But did order this, got me a nice shirt. I like this shirt. I was like, you know what? I wear too much of the same shirts a lot of times. So this is a Ketchco shirt. It was on sale for like 10 bucks. You know, it's that 60-40 mix. 60% uh, cotton, 40% polyester. It does feel good, you know. I hate shirts that feel like crap. But this is a good feeling shirt, so pick that up. Now, pretty much what happened was you do get a box, a free box of mystery items when you placed an order at the time I got this box, I don't think there was like that mega mystery box or nothing. It was just anything over $25, you would get a free box included. So, let me show you the baits that I ordered first. Let's fix this up a little bit. Man, I look dusty. All right. Well, you know, it'd be nice if I had a table in front of me. I feel like I'm constantly digging around and stuff. Alright, picked up some of these, right? The born stuff. You know, some owner blockhead hooks. These are actually my favorite EWG Ned style hooks. Then we picked up some tightrope jigs. They had these on sale for like two dollars and thirty cents. So that's a no-brainer there. And uh as you see I was uh from doing a video so much we uh, have an open one. Check it out. Pretty cool, man. You know, these things are the firecracker jigs. It looks like it goes up. You know, got a nice hook on there. Nice bait keeper. Looking pretty good. What's up? Huh? I'm going to run a while real quick. I'll drive. You don't, you, you don't run. Oh, I'm going to drive the while. Yeah, drive the while. You know, you ain't running. I forgot you were making a video. That's right, stay out. Or else. She she does that on purpose. She just wants to get a good look at me real quick, you know. But I picked up some of these. Man, you distracted me. I freaking lost where we were at. Yeah. Always happens, man. Picked up some of these. The Wrecking Eliminator. Pretty much these suckers look like tadpoles. They're pretty cool. I, I have a pack that I have fished. Um, but I haven't caught anything on them yet. But to be honest, I didn't really give them a fair shake, you know. I was like switching up. Probably having a bad day. But look at that thing. A little tadpole looking thing. Buzz this thing on top of the water. Fish it on a T-rig. They have a number, a number placement to how you put these things in because the tail is kind of all wrapped around each other. Kind of pain, but this one's trying to slip away. That almost looks like it's alive. You just stay in there. You ain't going nowhere. You live here now. Alright. Carl wasn't treating you good. You got a new home. Alright. Picked up some of these, some more of these Nichols tapeworms, you know. A little fun fact, some girls will order tapeworms off the internet, get it in the mail, swallow it down their throat so they can start losing weight. And then they get the worm that grows inside them and it's so unhealthy because the, the worm pretty much steals your food from you. And you always feel hungry all the time and then they go... To the hospital something's wrong with me no one they already know what the hell is wrong with them and then doctors like you got a tapeworm in you oh my god i got a tapeworm where the hell did i get it doctor don't know she ordered it off the internet 
But maybe in the back of his head, he's like, yeah, I know what you did. Too many females coming in here with tapeworm. Yeah, pretty cool. You know, it's, it's a beautiful worm. It's just a beautiful thing. Five minutes in. Wow. Sorry about that. I feel like we didn't, haven't got anywhere. See what I'm saying? All right. Didn't have this color, so I got this color, the AU. I gotta say, from the time I got this till now, I already broke two lips. So I'm kind of bummed out about these. They work, they catch fish, but as soon as you hit a little stump or a uh, rock, that lip will go like this. Snap in half, and then it's like running around with a snaggle tooth, getting all weird in the water. So... I think they use a junky plastic on them. I'm going to just say, they got to up their thing, you know? You know, I'm tr trying to like their stuff. There's some stuff that they have that I like, and then there's other stuff I'm like, I could do without. Picked up these, these little larva freaking uh, lunker hunt worms. I thought they were going to be bigger, because I have some of these that I use on, like, a trout magnet hook. But these are pretty cool, though. You do get... A whole bunch. We got the pink. We got the Walter White. And, uh, yeah, these things are like Elastex. So it's going to be more like ice fishing, honestly. I mean, you could throw it up on a jig and, you know, float it underneath the bob or catch some panfish. But pretty impressive, pal. I mean, you could floss your teeth with this. Not bad. If you're on a water and you need dental floss, there you go. All right. Well, that box is done. Now on to the good stuff, the mystery box. A little thirsty. My daughter picked this up from the store. Like, it don't taste good. It don't taste good. But I'm thirsty. All right, in a mystery box, we got a little pack of uh, X-Zone, little multi-species baits, little panfish, what are they calling it? This is the pan slammer. All right, not bad. Now, there's one slammer you want to stay away from, and that is jail time. Go out there, catch panfish, stay out of the slammer. There we go, that's a pretty nice color there. I like it. You get quite a few. Exxon does have multi-species baits, like the little panfish baits. They're usually the blue and green packs. And uh, they're like bass fish and stuff. It is like the black and green packs. So, there we go. Free. We got that sucker for free. There we go. A little Rebel single barb. Let me show you guys this sucker. There we go. Good for creeks and cricks. Little barbless single hook there. Perfect for trout. You know, you do no damage to them. And a trout will bite this. But that's a very nice looking crawl. I mean, if you just look at that and admire that baby. Rebel does some good things, man. They're definitely the kings of cricks and streams. Then we got an ice fishing jig here from Strike Pro. Now, I thought Strike Pro was just like gone out of business because Strike King got some of their molds and stuff. I don't know what's going on with them. I do believe they're still up and running in Europe. I'm not sure about the States, but maybe they are. I have to look into that, but never have fished anything like this because I'm from the bank here. The only way I could ever fish something like this is I would need, um, here we go, like a pop bobber. So, when I cast these out together, this will separate, fall down. And when I pull my rod back, bloop, bloop, this, this actually will bring it straight up rather than this way. It'll pull it up, fall down. But, pretty cool. Don't know how often that will be used, but... You know, it looks nice. It's 
pretty much these, these boxes are pretty much I, I believe just like the leftovers that they had from all their mystery boxes throughout the year they have a walleye box a panfish box a trout box a bass box salt water box then we got the big bite baits flukes get 10 of these in a pack I'm not going to open them it's a sealed bag but I like their flukes. I actually have a freaking a lot of their flukes. So these will also go in there. So that was free. Then we got a Limbison lure here. This is a robotic EBS electronic sound technology. Gives off a little bait fish sound. Which I think is pretty cool, but on a reaction bait, I don't know how good this is going to be. Ready? Let me complete that circuit. That's it. Hopefully you heard a noise. It's got some rattles in it. I actually did order one of their jerk baits. I think that's where this technology would shine because you could actually pause a bait and then he could sit there and make it on that freaky noise. So I have to try that out. Looks cool. I like it. I do own a popper from them and I have caught in a fish on a popper. Actually, the story is I found a popper in a tree that somebody lost. Grabbed that popper that same day, tied on, threw it out there. I was doing pretty well on a popper. Don't know if that had anything to do with the noise. I doubt it. It was just uh, probably just a good popper for that day. So that is cool. Freaking hook won't get in there. Get in there. All right. And we got a Yozori lipless. What is this? Gold brown. Pretty nice. We got the Biwata Crawl. They make really freaking cool looking baits. Anything that I ever gotten from them, I always was like, wow, I really like it. I really like it. This looks like, like a molten crawl to color, like when they shed their shells. There we go, let's block some light. Really cool. Big fat pinchers. I like it. Do you get six in a pack? And he's got some weights in them. They're pretty heavy. And of course, you know, gotta have the bobbers here. Eagle Claw. These are my favorite type of bobbers if I had to use a bobber rather than a round bobbers. I feel like I could see the sticks a lot better. And they just look cooler. I feel like they cast better. I don't know. That is it for all the free stuff. And that order. All right, let's get this junk back. 13 minutes, not bad. We got through one box, we got some more to go. We're just gonna try to do this in one shot. Got this in from Tackle Warehouse the other day. There we go. Green pumpkin, black and blue. These are the crash crawls. There we go. Let's see, let's, they got a little staple in here, but that's okay. We could sneak one out to the side. There we go. Got some nice little ticklers here. That's the pincher there. There we go. Looking pretty good. I like it. Could hook it up either side. It was pretty much the same on the top and bottom, except one side actually has a little cutout for the eyes. This side doesn't, but the fish is not going to notice that. So you could do it whichever way. So, 
Got that from Tackle Warehouse. Also from Tackle Warehouse. I've been waiting for these since like last eye cast. It finally came. I actually forgot about it. It's been that long. It's been like, feels like it's been over a year. But uh, these are the uh, Speed Boss. 5.7 inch. It's like their Speed Worm. This is a newer bait. Don't know uh, why it took me so long to get it. Unless they're just starting to come out with them now. Or back orders. I have no idea. I don't even know if it's like a hard one to get right now or what. But we're going to get one out. But there it is it's kind of like uh that one bait that they, the tail of i think it's called the deal that they have that thing looks pretty nice and we got it just looks like a stick bait with some fins on it so all the uh, action is right here smell nice and strong nice power bait scent that was it. They just sent one box just with that in it. And then, like, the next day later, the box came with two of them in it. I'm like, why not just send it in one? Making me look bad. Making me look like I'm ordering a whole bunch of stuff. Girl looks at me like I'm a loser every day. Because I got stuff coming in the mail. It's like, look at him and his stupid baits. All right. Now we got the bigger box here. Now this is a special box here. This it was uh, a mega box that they had for $39.99. You got $100 worth of lures. And then if you went up to $50, they threw in another like box like that first one that we just seen. It's like a $27 box that's valued at like over that or something. Pretty much it's like $150 worth of lures here at the $50 price range. So the cool thing about that is that paid for the membership twice for me. You know what I mean? Like, the membership was 40 I think it's $50 now for the membership, but they just give so much away throughout the year that the membership wipes itself away. I don't know how they're able to do the stuff like they do. It's pretty crazy. But as you see, we got two mystery boxes in here. Pluck them to the side. Let's get rid of this. Ooh. Oh, I want to shoot you guys. Alright. So, I loaded up on these because I was just trying to get to that $50 price range. And these were like $2.30. So, got that one. Got that one. All right. And that's it there. On to the mystery boxes. This one's heavier, so this is the good stuff. I mean, they're both good, but we'll save the heavier one for last. We that is the $39.99. Oh yeah, check this out. Got some bait hooks right there, a little eagle claw panfish. I'll stick them with my hook in my hook drawer. We got some little exone curl tail worms, little grubs. Definitely pretty cool. We got the bruiser baits. The Super swim Swimmer Hindu is the color. Check this out. That was really nice. I like the smell of it. But yeah, kind of looks like a Berkeley grass pig. But that's it, man. Got a uh, little belly slot there. You know, good old swim bait. Glad to have it. Looking pretty good. Nice and juicy in there. 
Then we got these Kalen's Sunnies. These are the Tickle Tail Minnows. Now, I've gotten these in a Mystery Tackle Box before, and I thought that they were pretty freaking cool. I ended up taking them out of this clam shell, this little square container, and just dumped them in there, because it's not even... This little container is not even helping these little Tickle Tails, but pretty much... It almost looks like that Kai Tech Easy Swimmer or something like that. Only it has these little tickle tails. Pretty weird and freaky, but it is a nice durable film plastic. It's like that tough plastic, but that tail is still pretty flappy. So yeah, pretty freaking cool. I mean, honestly, if you don't get a uh, sub monthly subscription right now, it'd be a good time to just do this. This is actually worth more than the subscriptions, really. Got these Savage Gear uh, pre-rigs. I tried it. I don't know. I was at the river when I've got this in a mystery tackle box, and it kept going up on its side. But maybe it's the way I had it rigged in the current or something. I'll have to try them again, but they look pretty good. Pretty cool. And this looks pretty interesting here. This Castaic. I don't know what it is, but we got four of them. Like a jerk bait. Uh, super jerky. Five and a quarter inch albina. So these, these are a pretty big size. But it looks really cool the way they got this little segment going on. Look at that. That is cool. Yeah, that thing's really gonna wobble. I like that. It might be too big to put on like a chatterbait. I would just fish this the way it is, man. Just throw it out there and let it rip. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like when I'm still able to get surprised by a bait that I have never seen yet, you know? That's why I kind of been trying to keep off the internet and, you know... I feel like I've seen everything, and then it's no longer a surprise. I'd like to not have to know everything, you know? And we got a Spro Frog. I never tried a Spro Frog, because I just suck at frogs. I have a whole frog collection. They are just... Where are you frogs at? Yeah. There you go. This is my frog collection. <clears throat> From all the frogs I got from the boxes and some that I've bought myself, but there you go. They're just having a party in there, and most of them don't even have a tooth mark in it. They're pretty much all brand new. That's how bad I suck at frogs, but let's uh, pull this out. Is it a bonsai frog? What is this? Spro, Dean, Rojas, Bonsai Shad, 65. Maybe this could be the frog to get me a bass. It looks pretty good. I like how it has the, uh, the little double tail, but going upright. Yeah, kind of like a little horse there. But pretty cool. This dude's going to live in the box of frogs. And we have some Exo Muscleback Crawls. Is that what they are? The muscle back finesse crawls. This is in a crawl lamb. Everybody's seeing these, but just in case you haven't, don't feel bad. I mean, hey, so he's pretty amazing when you could see a bit you haven't seen already. But there we go. This crawl is looking pretty cool. We'll pull these pinchers, and there you go. Freaking flapping daddy. This is pretty cool. And you get an 8-pack. That's weird, because you don't even get an 8-pack when it comes to the Mystery Tackle Box. They only give you 6, so you're even making out better. Cancel your Mystery Tackle Box and get these bundles, man. And then sign back up, but... Alright, that was box number 1. We're not doing too bad. We're at 24 minutes. I mean, what can I say, you know? Now, this is the heavy one right here. This is supposed to be the uh, hundred dollar value, and wow, it's 
look at how they have that thing packed. And I think this might have been week one or week two. I'm not sure. But you can see, at, they really had to do like uh, a puzzle there to get that packed in there. Just wanted to show you that. Pretty impressive. Whoever's over there packing stuff up. And, ah, uh, man, this is pretty freaking awesome. Got a Strike Pro blade bait. I love blade baits. And I just have so much fun throwing them. You know, I tend to lose quite a bit of blade baits. But I do have some that I don't lose, so it's like a hit, hit or miss. But this one's different. Strike Pro always has some really cool freaking stuff. Look at this. This has little BBs inside there. Now that's a cool design. I never had one that had rattles in it. Pretty unique. I like that. That looks clean. That looks good. All right. We got a double of this. Did get one of these in my mystery tackle box to head banger. Pretty cool. Got the clickbait. I don't know how good this thing ever took off, but um, it's like the Guggen's version of a chatterbait. But I kind of think it's in its own category altogether because it, it rides the surface and they say you can bend it and stuff. I messed around with it. There's really no bend in it, honestly. And if you're able to get a bend and get it to die down, send me a video. Alright, there are some bandita bugs. Watermelon red flake. Alright, pretty googened out, but not bad. We got the zinger. 3 8 ounce, is it? What, what do we got here? Not sure what the weight is on this sucker. Yeah, it is a 3 8 ounce. I, I kind of like the half ounce, personally, myself. And we got these raptor crawls. I think that's what they're... If I remember, I think they're called like the Excite Raptor Crawl. These things are pretty cool. You know, if I pull something out and it's like a Guggen bait or something, I felt like everybody's seen already, I'm not going to take it out. But maybe you haven't seen this. Pretty fat claws there that get a little slender toward the middle. I like it. Looks good. Looks like something the fish would eat. And, uh, yeah, you get six in here. Got a Team Arc Square Bill in the color of bluegill. Check that out. I don't think uh, Team Arc baits have took off like they wanted to because they're in a lot of these boxes. I think they're still trying to get out there, but that is a nice paint job right there. I have another one right behind me from him. Um, I thought I did. Oh, yeah. Let me see if it's the same. Yeah. This one I had. It's the new one, the bluegill. But, yeah, pretty nice. All right. Then we got a rainbow trout bull shed. Which is really cool. I like the, uh, the, the Mike Booga, the Bull Shad, the Bull Gills. They're awesome. Uh, the bull, bull Gill is my favorite, but the Bull Shads are pretty good. And uh, this is pretty cool. 3.3 inch. I actually have this in um, a larger size. What is this? Moonlight or se uh, Sexy Swimmer. I actually just picked the same color up at Dix. It's a little bigger though, but I wanted this color in the 3.3 inch. What do you know? I got it right now. Pretty wild. Yeah, it's definitely some stuff that I've gotten recently in my mystery tackle box. This is the headbangers. These are some lizards in there that go with it. I don't know 
if it's the same color, different color than what we got before, but pretty cool. And Okeechobee Crawl. Yeah, these things are awesome. The Vile Bug here. Definitely my favorite biospawn bait. These things are awesome. Durability, I mean, they do rip. But when they rip, I'll just rig it up backwards. Or, you know, I do different things. Like, don't think because it rips out, you need to put a new one on. Or if one claw gets ripped off, fish it. Even though it has one claw, throw it out there. You will still get something. But that thing's pretty sweet, though. The vile bug. I'll go with the other vile bugs. And, um, uh, the last bait. Right here. Janko. Let's just say Janko lipless. I actually have one of these that I got in the mystery tackle box. Then one time while I was fishing, there was a bait hanging out. Somebody cast, like, looped over a tree. So I cast, snagged the line, pulled it in, and this brand new, I don't even think it touched the water. It was just hanging on there. So I snagged it caught one now i got one so i actually have three of this color right now pretty wild and uh, i think that's it i don't think i'm forgetting anything and know it's in a longer kind of video oh it's just so nasty there we go that's more like it well I don't think there is anything more to see here. What else did I do? I did get these. At Ollie's. Some gobies. These are the bigger ones. These are... Four inch, one ounce gobies. Now I do have these gobies. I got these at Dick's Sporting Goods years ago. I got this color and another color. This is a smaller one right here than this one. I think this is like three inches. Yeah, I think it's like three inches or something. So, I did get those suckers. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, the only other thing I got was a uh, whole bunch of these coil packs from Home Depot because the mosquitoes during the fall, man, when it transitions, that's when they get worse. When that, when it's more cooler during the day, you'll start getting bit during the day. So get yourself some coils. Keep them things up off you. And uh, that's it. We're going to get up out of here. That's going to wrap it out. Wrap it up. Hope you've enjoyed. Till next time. Peace out. Tricky guys. You thought I was coming with this hand and went right over you know i mean i'm pretty slick but hope you guys enjoy your friday have a good night till next time peace out